go to jail. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this story is not going anywhere. It's not going to get smaller, it's going to get bigger. I've heard this is bigger than Watergate. Former U.S. Attorney Susan Rice ordered spy agencies to produce detailed spreadsheets involving Donald Trump. Former President Barack Obama's National Security Advisor Susan Rice ordered U.S. spy agencies to produce detailed spreadsheets of legal phone calls involving Donald Trump and his aides when he was running for president, according to former U.S. Attorney Joseph DiGenova. What was produced by the intelligence community at the request of Ms. Rice were detailed spreadsheets of intercepted phone calls with unmasked Trump associates in perfectly legal conversations with individuals, DiGenova said, told the Daily Caller News Foundation investigative group Monday. The overhead heard conversations about only illegal activities by anyone, anybody of the Trump associates, or anyone that we're speaking with, DeGenova said. In short, the only apparent illegal activity was the unmasking of the people in the calls. So right there you have testimony that Trump was wiretapped. Other Official sources with direct knowledge who requested anonymity confirmed to the Daily Caller D. Genova's description of surveillance reports race ordered one year before the 2016 presidential election. And also on Monday, Fox News and Bloomberg News citing multiple sources reported that Rice had requested that intelligence information was produced in a highly organized operation. Fox said the unmasked names of Trump were aides were given to officials at the National Security Council and the Department of Defense, James Clafford, President Obama's Director of National Intelligence, and John Brennan, Obama's CIA Director. Joining Rice in an alleged White House operations was her deputy, Ben Rhodes, according to Fox. Critics of the atmosphere prevailing throughout the Obama administration last year in, point, in office point to former Obama Deputy Defense Secretary Evelyn Farkas, who admitted in a March 2nd television interview on MSNBC that she was urging my former colleagues, get as much information as you can, get as much as intelligence as you can for Obama leaves the administration. This is uh, left-wing banana republic behavior, for crying out loud. Marcus sought to walk back her comments in the weeks following. I didn't give anyone, anybody except advice, anything except advice. Colonel retired James Warshuk, a NSC veteran and former Deputy Director for Intelligence at the U.S. Central Command, so told the D.C. NF that Mayhans had to be involved throughout the uh, Obama administration launched such a political spying program. Surveillance initially is the responsibility of the National Security Agency, Warrior Shock said. They have, have to abide by this guidance where when one or the other agency says we're looking for at this particular person, which we would like to unmask. Lawyers and counsel at NSA surely would be talking to lawyers and members of Council at CIA or National Security Council and Director of National Intelligence or at the FBI, he said. It's unbelievable the, of the level and degree of the administration took to look for information on Donald Trump and his associates, his campaign team, and his transition team. This is really, really serious stuff. You know, it's really, really criminal stuff is what it is. 
Michael Dorn, former NSC director, senior director, told the DCNF Monday that someone blew a hole in the wall between national security secrets and partisan politics. There's a stream of information that was supposed to be hermetically sealed from the politics, and the Obama administration found a way to blow a hole in the wall. What do you expect? He's, he was a tyrant. Soft tyrant. Doran charged that uh, political potential serious crimes were undertaken because this is a leaking of signal intelligence. That's a felony, he told the DC. C enough. You can get ten years for that. It was a tremendous abuse of the system. We're not supposed to be monitoring American citizens. Bigger than the crime is a breach of public trust. War Warshak said he was most dismayed that this is now using national intelligence assets and the capabilities to spy on an elected yet to be seated president. We're looking at a potential constitutional crisis from the standpoint that we used an extremely strong capability that was supposed to be used to safeguard and protect our country, he said, and we used it for political purposes by sitting president. That takes on a new precedent. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, We're going to have to wait and see what happens, of course. But if it were up to me, there would be some people going to jail right now. This is unbelievable. Like I said, this is... This... Oh my god, this is third world dictatorial stuff, face it. I don't know if we're going to get justice here or not. As for Trump's claim that he was wiretapped, well, <laughs> I think we can safely say that was correct. I don't know how you're going to argue about it now. We have all this stuff coming out, and you're going to sit there and tell me that Trump was full of it when he said he was wiretapped. <laughs> Sorry. It may not be quite technically correct. Or he may be technically correct if he was using landlines. But either way, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Trump uh, was abused and by Obama, Trump and his associates. And that's all there is to it. I want to start, I want to see some people let away in handcuffs. Enough is enough. I want to fax some more. Thanks for watching.